Okay guys, so in this video, we will explore the basics of active high pass filters and I'll show you how to build one. Filters in electronics are used for removing unwanted signals out of a sinusoidal signal. High pass filters will attenuate low frequencies while allowing high frequency signals to pass. This circuit has many important applications. One such application is in audio signal circuits when you want to create a two-way crossover circuit and direct all the high frequencies to the tweeter while attenuating low frequency signals. In electronics, there are basically two types of high pass filters. There are passive high pass filters and there are active high pass filters. Passive high pass filters utilize only a resistor and a capacitor and require no external power to operate. These passive filters depend on the reactance exhibited by a capacitor to act as a break in the circuit and block signals below the cutoff frequency. Active signals, however, utilize an amplifying series with a passive high pass filter. Since our pump is an active circuit component, by adding it to a passive high pass filter design, it becomes an active high pass filter circuit. Now, it may seem like a waste of time to build an active high pass filter if a passive high pass filter does the same thing. However, since the active filter requires an up up on the output, it allows for an increase on the output of the amplifier. Though if you like, you can use a unity gain system to negate this effect. The limitation of the active filter is that the frequency response of such a circuit is dependent on the up and bandwidth. It is thus good to check the amplifier bandwidth and ensure that it is within the limits of the high pass filter you are designing. Note that if you are considering looking at the bandwidth of the up amp, also be sure to check out the slew rate of the device, but that is a topic for another video. We can calculate our cutoff frequency with this formula as given here. We can also calculate the gain of the amplifier with this formula here. This formula though is for an inverting configuration. If we are using the up amp in a non-inverted configuration, we would use this formula as shown here. To simplify our understanding of the filter, we will use the unity gain based active filter. When we use a unity gain as shown here, our active filter is known as a first order high pass filter. Since my power supply is not a split supply, we create a ground using a resistor divider and two capacitors. For our signal source, I am using a DIY signal generator I made using the XR2206IC. We will create a filter that will pass frequencies that are above approximately 1.6 kHz. To get this frequency, we design a high pass RC filter using our formula and calculate the resistor to be a 1 kOhm one and a capacitor to be 100 nanofarads. Keep in mind that component values can be within 1 to 10% deviation from the value expected, which would have limitations on the response of our filter. After we set up our circuit on the breadboard and connect our oscilloscope, we see that output signal in yellow gets anterior the further we get from our cutoff frequency. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.